Hey everyone, thanks for watching today. Um, today I am going to show you, sorry, just let me get this out of here, um, how to drop ship with ZDrop from eBay to Facebook. This program is $9 a month. Um, I think there's a 14 day free trial. Absolutely worth it. Um, I'm just gonna show you quick here how it works. So you're gonna go to eBay and um, after you download the Chrome extension and things like that, um, once you sign up, you, there'll be instructions in your email. You're going to go on over to eBay, find an item that you want to pull over and list onto Facebook. Um, so once you do that, the Z drop is going to open up here and it's going to create um, all of these little red buttons. You're going to go ahead and just click copy to Facebook. So super, super simple. Um, that's going to up and pop open a new Facebook tab as you can see it's doing right now it automatically does that super convenient um, and then sometimes you have to reload the extension because well it doesn't want to load um, it's a little glitchy but it's still worth it um, it's going to pop up paste data right here and you're just going to click on that button and it's basically going to take all the or all the information from the eBay ad that you just saw and paste it on over to Facebook. Um, and it's working right now, it looks like. Uh, sorry about that. Um, so right now it is copying all the information over from eBay onto Facebook. I am not touching the computer. I'm not doing anything. It is doing all this on, by itself. Um, this saves a whole ton of time. It, you know, it takes effort to go and download and save each of these pictures. So doing this is super, super convenient. You can crank out 10, 20, 30 listings a day, no problem. It only takes like 20 minutes to do, to do that. Um, there are th some things you want to look for, obviously. Um, just make sure your listings look good. Um, you may want to rename because it's going to take the exact same name it has um, here from eBay. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you what I would name it. Let's see, 100 millimeter set outdoor family for red. Um, I'm going to type in outdoor toys, um, backyard. And what I do is I kind of um, post a bunch of keywords into my title. And I feel like that is really what helps sell things. Um, and then I want to look at my price because $40, it's usually not accurate. Okay, see, it's it's going to cost me $32. I, I am so sorry about all those pop-ups. It's going to happen because I have my Facebook up. Um, geez, I am so sorry. So I am going to mark this at $49. And let's see, we have to choose a category. I'm trying to think of like outdoor toys or sometimes you kind of have to scroll through the categories. Um, there's outdoor toys. I'm going to go with this one right here. Go on down. Sometimes there's a lot of garbage and junk within the description. You can go ahead and get rid of that. Um, you can keep it if you want. Um, I usually just get rid of it and kind of make things a little more neat. Get rid of the UPC. Um, when writing the quantity, I usually write down 11. Just it's easier. It's easy. Um, I obviously don't want to have one in case I sell it. And then your tags. It's going to have a few tags up here. Um, outdoor, sporting, sports, backyard, games. We're going to get rid of goods. How about family, outdoor toys, backyard toys. Um, weddings, parties, barbecue, cookout, grill out, um, family fun. I try to use my 20 um, words if I can. Sometimes it doesn't happen. Um, I'm tr trying to do this quick, so it's probably not going to happen with this. Um, so then to find my listing next time, I always save it. And I know everyone has a different way of saving these things. This is just what I do. So I save the title in a Word document. And then I go ahead and I take my eBay listing so I can easily find it there. And next, and you're going to go ahead and publish it. 
So that probably took three, four minutes. Um, so this program ZDrop makes things super, super quick to transfer items from eBay onto Facebook. Um, I hope that helped you all. Uh, just please let me know if you have any questions on that. I would be more than happy to help you. Um, thanks for watching.